Hey everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and I'm going to show you how to use video properties and video actions in ScreenFlow 4. Now, the first thing you need to do is in the properties pane, click on the little video camera icon for the video properties. Now there are two different ways to use the video properties pane. The first is to change the video properties for an entire clip, and the second is to change video properties over a duration of time inside a video clip. Now first, let's change the video properties for an entire clip. So select the clip you want to manipulate in the timeline, and here it shows you all the different video properties. Let me move this here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So the first thing here is scale. You can drag this to left and right, and scale up that video and scale down. Change that back to 50%. Now each one of these fields, you can manipulate these values manually just by clicking in the field and entering your own values. Second here is positioning. The position is relative to the center point of the preview here and the center point of the video clip. So the next is rotation. You can rotate it on the X, Y, and Z axis. Let's rotate it on the Z axis by clicking in here and rotating. There's that, and let's zero this back out. Next is opacity, and this is basically how transparent an object is. Take this down, it becomes more and more transparent. All right, then there's cropping. You can crop each side individually. If you have something in your video you want to cut out. Then there's adding a reflection. That's basically underneath. You can see here it gets more intense. And then there's the shadow. You can see this on the right and bottom side here. It's kind of like a drop shadow. You can change the angle by moving this little button here. Change that back. You can change the color. Say we want it to be orange. You can change that to orange. And the offset is how close or far away it is, like so and you can change the opacity and blur size of that shadow. Next up we have color controls, the saturation, brightness, contrast. You can make your video clip look a little bit better. Or you can go black and white, say reduce the saturation all the way down to zero and your video will be black and white. All right, and the last thing here is video filters. Just Click on the plus sign, and there's a bunch of different video filters that they have. Let's say let's add a motion blur. Click add, and there we have a motion blur on our video clip. And you can change the radius and angle, and each different video filter will have their own settings that you can manipulate. If you want to get rid of the video filter, just click on the X, and away it goes. So that's changing the video properties for an entire clip. Now let's add a video action. Let's say at the end point of this video here, I want to fade this to totally transparent. Now let me zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better how it works. So you move your scrubber to where you want this video action to be and click add video action. And you can see it adds the video action to that clip. When the scrubber is at the end of that action, you are changing the properties for that video clip from there and after. If the scrubber is at the beginning, you are changing the video properties for that position and before. So I said we wanted this to fade out. Let's bring the scrubber to the end, and then we'll drag the opacity down to zero. Let's play this. You can see how that goes, and that fades out. Now, if you want that action to last a longer time, just go to one of the edges, beginning or end, and you can drag that out to last however long you want. Let's say one second here. Let's play that again. You can see that fade lasts a longer time. It takes one second. Now, if you need to change the position of this video action, just click on it and drag it around to position it where you need it to be. And you can use these video actions to manipulate any of the video properties that are in the video properties pane, the scale, the position, rotation. Let's say 
right before we did this, we want to scale this video up quite a bit larger. Let's, so let's add a video action. And at the end here, we want to scale this up like so. And let's say we want this to take second and a half. So here we go. And it slowly scales that up and it does it in a smooth way. So you can change your rotation, opacity, all the different properties in that fashion. Now you can also use video actions in things other than video clips. You can use it in a text clip, annotations, and image files. So let's add some text here real quick. Let's go to a different point where that's faded out. Let's add a text box real quick. You can see the text there. Now if I add a video action, let's go back to video properties, add a video action. Let's say I wanted to, at the beginning of this, I wanted it to be completely faded out and have that text fade in, which is a pretty common thing to do. And you can see what that looks like. And that text fades in. And you can also, let's see, add another action, highlight the clip, add a video action. Let's say you wanted the text to scale all the way down at the end, and that gives another disappearing effect. So let's see how that looks. And there you go. So that's using video properties and video actions in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.